channel it is Angie here I feel like I haven't done a face-to-face -face video in so long so I wanted to do a video on my everyday makeup look like this is literally the look that I would do when I was back in the office and it is super quick super easy like literally I'll be on the bus and doing my makeup like that's how easy it is so this is a great video for beginners and before we get started, I do want to mention that I got this super, super cute headband from Gardenia Boutique. And look at the details in this. It is gorgeous. Like, I love it. One, because it's in my favorite color, pink. And two, because it's super glamorous. And it really puts the whole look together. Like today, I just wanted to do something quick and on the go. And I didn't have time to do my hair. So I'm like, you know, let me just pop on this headband. And it just really brings the whole look together. So I definitely recommend that you check um, their website out. They did just drop this collection. So it's headband accessories. They got super cute earrings as well. So I will go ahead and link down below Gardenia Boutique. And go ahead and check them out. They also have a super cute loungewear collection which is amazing like right now that i'm working from home i love their sets they're super soft super warm so go ahead and check them out and let's go ahead and get started so i washed my face already and i'm going to moisturize with this neutrogena hydro boost water gel i have really really oily skin so i like using a um like this water gel because it doesn't make my face oily throughout the day and it's also oil free so I definitely recommend this it's very moisturizing but at the same time it's not oily at all so I like to use this um, in my dry area so my face has been super dry you guys because of the weather but it's only dry like around my mouth and like right here so it's like just in my t-zone which is really weird because that's usually where I'm oily from and don't mind my breakout you guys like look i've been breaking out so much one from halloween because i ate so much chocolate so much candy and i wasn't eating the healthiest so that's why like i really broke out i wasn't drinking water either so horrible horrible you guys that is why i've been breaking out like crazy and i'm left with these ugly ass scars so once I do that, I'm gonna um, moisturize my lips. Where did I leave my chapstick? Here it is. So just moisturize your lips with any chapstick that you have. And first thing we're gonna do is prime our face. So I still use this infallible from L'Oreal, the matte lock. Um, mattifying primer this is really really good if you have oily skin like as you can tell look how dirty it is like i literally wear this all the time so i definitely recommend this primer if you have oily skin and i like to just do it in my t-zone area and just put a little bit there i'm almost running out so i definitely have to go buy more but I haven't been doing my makeup all that much because since I'm working from home, like, no one really sees me. So I'm definitely letting my face breathe. Next, we are going in with this um, L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. This is my favorite foundation, you guys. I definitely recommend, again, for oily skin types. Um, it is really, really good. Like, it is um, a demi matte finish so i feel like it is really really um matte so i've been using this for years now like i think literally since they came out and i love it the only thing i don't like is in the winter it can be a little dry for me but i go ahead and just um dot this all over my face And I am using my Real Techniques makeup brush and then just go ahead and buffing that in.
Next, I am taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer. And do you guys remember when these were like super, super in? And it was so hard to find them because they were sold out everywhere. So I just take this and put it underneath my eyes. I also recommend, um, I used to use the Maybelline one. I'll go ahead and insert a picture down here. Um, I forgot what it was called, but that one was really, really good. I ran out of that one, so I've been using this one. And I just like take it underneath my eyes and I do some on my forehead, some on my chin, especially cover up um, all the little problem areas. And there you go. And then I just take again my Real Techniques brush and then just tap it in. So once I am done with that, I am just taking um, some face powder and I used this Maybelline Fit Me powder. And you guys, like, I'm almost hitting pan on this. Like, look, I use it so much. I need to get a new one. Like, I'm really hitting pan on this. And I just take some of this, um, just with the fluffy brush, and I just pack it underneath my eyes. And I'm not trying to highlight any areas, so I just use this powder all over my face. Um, I'm not trying to be super dramatic. Again, this is an everyday makeup look, so I'm not too worried about um, highlighting and contouring my face. So I just take this all over my face. Alright, so I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. I have used this Wet n Wild brow kit for years. Like seriously, I have been using this since high school. Like, I'm not even joking. This is my holy grail. This is what I use for my eyebrows. I always get a lot of questions from people asking what I use for my eyebrows. And literally like 90% of the time I'll be using this. When I want to do like a really like dramatic look, I'll do the um, Anastasia Brow Pomade. And that's just because um, like it makes my brows more bold. But for an everyday makeup look, I have been using this brow kit. It is so good, it's so amazing, and it's so affordable, you guys. Like I feel like this brow kit is so underrated. Um, it comes with like a little makeup brush, which I don't use. And it comes with a tweezers, which the tweezers is so great. Like, ugh, I love it. And then once you pull this out, it's like a little mirror. So it's great. Like, if you're like me, you do your makeup in the car and stuff, you can just use this mirror. And I'm showing you guys this brand new one because I am so embarrassed to show you guys the ones I have now. Like, it's so disgusting. It's so dirty. But I'm almost hitting pan on it too. So I'm going to be opening this one up. I do stock up on them when I see them because they are hard to come across. Um, they're always sold out. So I always keep some of these in stock. But I definitely, definitely recommend like 100%. This is the best brow powder. Like, ugh, it's so amazing. So I am just going to take, um, like, I think this is an e.l.f. Yeah, this is an e.l.f. eyebrow dual brush. I've had this brush forever, but I love it. Um, I'll just take some excess powder out for my brows. I mean, it's not like I have a lot of eyebrows anyways. And then I just go in and then I start filling them in. So I literally just start filling them in. And the first thing I do is just outline the bottom and then just bring it up.
there you have it so once we're done with our eyebrows I am going in with this physicians formula bronzer and I just bought this one I was using another one which I don't think they sell anymore in stores um, but I finally ran out of it and so I bought this one it has the argan oil in it Ugh, it smells so good you guys um, so I just take this bronzer and I get this angled elf brush and I'm just going to get some of that. So next I'm taking my Milani and this is in Berry Amore and this is the Baked Powder Blush. This is such a beautiful color. And I've been using this for so long. Um, it has, I think, like a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's one of my favorites. So I go ahead and take this wet and wild um, angled brush and I just put it on my cheeks. So once I am done with all my powder products and I use this Mario Badescu um, facial spray and this is it the the rose one the rose water with aloe herbs so I love how this smells so I just missed my entire face with it so while I wait for that to set I'm gonna use this eyeliner and if you guys saw my um, previous video where I did like a get ready with me I love this eyeliner this is the Italia one and I think um I've only gotten these from Mexico like every time I go I stock up on these and I found them on eBay um, but they are really really hard to find so they don't sell them in just any stores these are um, it's like a Mexico brand I think but it's called Italia Deluxe and this is a matte waterproof eyeliner with vitamin E and you guys this eyeliner is so bomb like I've been using this for years so I go ahead and do my eyeliner you guys know i love my wings so i just start off by literally just doing a line like this and then i get the corner of it and i just bring it down like bring it in and then i'm gonna go ahead and fill that in And then I just take the end of it and create that little wing. And you guys literally can just go as far as you want. If you guys want super long wings, just little short wings. Um, lately I've been doing like the inner corner, so I'll show you guys how I do it. So literally I just go like that, the little corner, and then I just connect it to the other one. And there you go, you have your winged eyeliner. Now that we're done with our eyeliner, I'm gonna take this wet and wild highlighter and it is the precious petal one you guys like I'm like I literally hit pan on this one that's how you know all these products are every day because all of these look like this <laughs> like all my makeup looks like this and I haven't been able to find it like I've been looking um, everywhere but they're always sold out of it so I'm over here like trying to make the best of it getting all the little scraps but this is my everyday highlighter. I love it. So hopefully I can find one soon. So I just take it and highlight my cheeks. And I highlight my nose, the tip of my nose. And my chin. 
I don't know why I do this. Like, I always just highlight my chin. And then, like, above my lip. And there you go. And then I am going to go ahead and... outline my lips with my favorite NYX lip pencil in Sandstorm. You guys know I love it. Like, look how tiny that is. This is literally my everyday lip combo. And I'm going to wipe off some of, like, the chapstick because sometimes if you try to go over um, your lips with lip liner and you have chapstick, it's not going to stay on. I usually do my Sandstorm um, NYX liquid lipstick as well, but I don't have that with me. I left it in the office. Like, you guys know with this whole pandemic, like, you just didn't know if you were going to go back to work or you were not. You're going to stay home. So I left that at, at work. So I'm going to use my Anastasia. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. This isn't drugstore. But I'm going to use my Anastasia liquid lipstick in the color stripped. And last but not least, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And just put mascara on them. You can literally use any mascara that you have. I always switch it up between um, drugstore and high-end. Like, honestly, it doesn't make a difference to me because I have such short eyelashes that... Even if I use like the lengthening ones or the volume ones, it's not going to do much. So, um, I'm just going to use this one for now. It's literally a mascara from Mexico. Like, I don't even know. I've had this for so long. I got it from Mexico, as you can tell. I get a lot of my makeup from Mexico so I'm just gonna lightly put that on you guys can use any mascara of your choice I've been wanting to try the L'Oreal um, telescopic one because I've seen girls use it and their eyelashes look super pretty and super long but I don't know if it's gonna work on me because like I said I have really really short eyelashes so I don't know if it's gonna make a different alliance, but let me know if you guys have tried it out um, and if you guys recommend it. I also like using um, this Benefit Roller Lash one. This is my favorite mascara just because I like um, the wand, how it's curved. So I feel like it really gets in there. So I like to do two layers of it just to make my eyelashes more bold. And I know there's like a specific way you're supposed to apply it, but I don't have patience for that. Like I literally just apply it however. So this is the final makeup look. And I did go ahead and apply some falsies on just for the sake of this video. I don't usually wear fake lashes with this look, but it makes the whole look really cute. But as you guys saw, it was super quick, super easy, and I went ahead and changed into my Gardenia Boutique loungewear, and it matches so cute with my headband. And yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials. Um, I always get people asking why I don't do more makeup videos and honestly it's because with quarantine I don't do my makeup as often anymore and when I do it's usually this look but I'll try and do more makeup tutorials for you guys so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed we are a little over a hundred subscribers so yay I am so happy so thankful for you guys for all my supporters who watch my videos every Wednesday and I know sometimes I don't post 
but I'm trying to be really, really consistent. But I really, really do appreciate your guys' love and support. And thank you so much for watching this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.